Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers and the likes with a passion and we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you, the criminal supporters, enablers, financiers and all the likes to go to prison or madness. Let's me repeat myself. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we do not want the criminal supporters on their circle over here. We want you to go to prison or madden. Moving on to our video. Yes, you know, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, you know that Madden is our best friend. Yes, we love Madden because Madden is the part along from this destination to the unknown. And you know, the unknown destination have two stops, two permanent stops is your L or Evan. Hopefully, you know, some of these people we don't see them in heaven because, but we are not God, so. But if we see them in heaven, we know that maybe we're in the wrong. That's not cannot be the right heaven. Because some people are just devils. So right now you're looking at um on the LCD you see the photograph of two men. You know, um one of them, uh, yes, you know the man, the Rasta man, or renter dread or you want to call him. Yeah, you know, is they call him Tupac. And we soon give you a you know a history about this man. And he used a gun to beat up his cousin. Yes. It's the same gun that he used to shoot at the cops. And he's in the departure of Alios. So the man at the bottom, his name is Grandison. This, this is a man that did not need to be in the company of this man. But sometime in life, you know, they say, show me your company, I tell me who you are. So, you know, this week, the police in Westmoreland killed two men in a shootout. Yes, two men in a shootout and recover one firearm. And based on the information received and obtained, one of the victims, 25-year-old Sheldon Sheen Grandison, was in the wrong place, in the wrong vehicle, with the wrong person. That's Tupac, who is a known gunman, who had just beat up his cousin with the same handgun, and the police confronted him, and there started an ensued gun battle. And this young man, who did not need to be around the man, who is a known violence producer, lost his life. So... There is a oh, there's a wise saying in Jamaica, you know, when I was growing up, and it is still relevant to this day. It says, "Show me your company, and it will tell others who you are." The company you keep can indeed say a lot about you. The people you surround yourself with can influence your thoughts, values, and behavior. If you are looking for a good company, there are a few things that you should look for first. First, you should look at the company with vital missions and values. These values should be something you believe in and support. Second, you should look for a company with a positive environment. This means people you are keeping friends with, are, you know, friends, friends are treating others with respect as they want others to treat them and respect their human rights and not to violate other people's rights. Third, you should look for people to be around who are successful in doing legal things within the ambit of the law and not as someone indulge in crimes. This doesn't mean that the company has to be the biggest or the most profitable, but it does tell that you are doing something valuable that people are willing you know, to pay and buy into. That is why they are successful. If you can find people that meet these criteria, you will be well on your way and finding an excellent group of company or people to be around. So the saying, show me your company and it will tell me who you are, is also true. 
in a broader sense. The companies we support with our time, money and attention can also say a lot about our values and priority. If we support unethical and unethical people who do not align with your values, you are essentially saying that we are okay with those things. That's why we don't like gunmen, we don't like murderer, we don't like people that kill people. You understand? That's why we don't. So that's why we don't align with those people and those people hate us. But we, hey, we don't care. Yeah, for you kill people, we believe that so the departure along is yours. Yeah, and a part of the system because if you kill somebody, you have to prevent you from killing others. Because if when the police come and they have to take the necessary precaution to protect them life, you know, the departure alone is going to be your destination and it's going to be two, two um, one-way tickets, either hell or heaven. We are not the creator, so we don't know what ticket God is going to give them. So the next time you seek a set of people to support, you will remember that your chosen friends can say much about you. Choose wisely. So two men were reportedly shot and killed by the police in Red Rum, Negril, Westmoreland on Monday. That's Monday this week, Monday evening. The deceased, a 40 year old, Richard Mosley, had our affectionate known as Tupac and 25 year old, 25 years old, Shane Grandison, a tour bus operator, both from the community. Reports are the police officers assigned to special operations were on mobile patrol duties in the Negro police area when they intercepted a white Toyota Corolla field of motor car. It is alleged that the officers were fired at and fearing for their lives took evasive action and returned gunfire in the direction of the motor car. It is said that one of the men ran from the vehicle and eluded the police. When the shooting subsided, Mosley and Grandison were seen suffering from gunshot wounds. They were rushed to the Savlan Mar Hospital, General Hospital, where they were pronounced dead on arrival. Grandison family and friends have since taken to social media to dispel reports that he was a gunman. The police reported that a Glock 19 pistol with a magazine containing two 9mm rounds were found on the scene. No police officer were armed. So yeah, so to the mother and all the supporters, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be a gunman per se to be labeled a gunman. Because you know? once you're traveling with somebody who's committing crime, as um, Tupac, you're acting in concert. So all of them, you know, both men together in the same place at the same time, just one, you know, they're just doing one thing, commit crime and he had gone. So he was in the company of men with illegal guns. You understand? So the thing is that um, a, word to, a word to the wise, if you do not keep friends with people who have the brief mind as um, you know, Tupac, she would be here today, she and Grandison would not be in the departure long. So we're going to give you some context about, um, you know, some background information about this man Tupac. You understand? So you watch, um, you, watch you listen and you decide. Yeah, so you know, if you look at your LCD, you will see that, you know, um, that's the arrow that pointing to that man, that's, that's the man, Tupac. Yeah, Tupac used the gun that the police recovered to beat up his cousin. Yes, the same gun he used to shoot at the cops. He is in the departure lounge. So we say adios to him because, you know, you know, we like in time, we like when criminal, you know, people, you know, especially people who are violence producers, that's where they them go to the departure lounge. So here's some context now we're going to give you about Shane Grandison. Yeah, yeah, you know, you understand? Shane Grandison, you know, was a youth and him come from a good family. You understand? Yeah, Shane came, you know, he's from a good family. Um, he was young, intelligent man who was the CEO, manager of a tour company bus that transport tourists and visitors in and around Negril and Montego Bay area and the other tourist areas. This young man had a promising future as his father had made sure that he would not have to depend on the government for adults or be a parasite and pest to other people. Unfortunately, he did not live out his natural lives. He did not live, live out his natural days on earth because he is now at the departure lounge. In life, when you make stupid decisions, it will give you stupid results. And that is what happened to Shane Grandison. 
if Tupac and the other man did not fire shots at the police, he would be here with us. Yes, Shane would be right here. So Richard Mosley, aka Tupac, is a known gunman because he was arrested and charged by the man and a woman following a series of operations in Red Ground, Westmoreland, in which an illegal gun and quantity of ganja was seized. 38 year olds Richard Mosley, otherwise called Tupac of Red Gun, had been charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. Meanwhile, 45 year, years old Desreen Campbell, also of New Grill Westmoreland, has been charged with possession of ganja and dealing in ganja. The police report that at about 3 pm, cops were conducting an operation at a premises in the year, the police team reported it. Enter and saw a man acting in a manner that arose their suspicion. A motor vehicle in, in the yard was searched and the firearm at was 9mm handgun with 12 live 9mm rounds of rounds was found in the vehicle glove compartment according to the police. The police say a secondary operation was carried out at another premises occupied by Campbell where four rounds and four pounds of ganja were seized. What? Well, four, four. She was arrested and subsequently charged. The court date for both persons have not been finalized. So we know that, um, yeah, so they arrest, they arrest um, Tupac. So we don't know what happened to that gun case. You understand? So, you know, so, some more things here for, about this guy here. So Richard Mosley, who is from a family of criminals, yes. Yes, two of his brothers were killed and one was killed in a shootout with another gunman. On Saturday, March 6, 2021, a 28-year-old, our senior, Sam's labor of Red Ground in Negril, 34 years old, Devon Mosley, otherwise called Bando, laborer, also of Red Ground Red District, Negril, Westmoreland, and 59 year, years old, Winston Williams, otherwise called Slyback, laborer of Kings Valley, Green Jill, Westmoreland. The Savannah, Mar, the Savannah Mar police reported that shortly after 10.30 a.m. on Saturday, gunmen said to be a part of a gang operating out of Red, Red Ground in Negril attack rivals near a chicken farm. Residents said that the gun battle lasted more than an hour, so I will shot the man them have in a man. Six persons were found suffering from gunshot wounds and were rushed to hospital. Sams and Mosley were pronounced dead at hospital. So that I'm first brother that they did. That I two pack in it, the gunman. You understand? So a police investigator from Westmoreland said there had been an ongoing gang feud between men from Red Ground, Negril. This is not the first instance where we have had a double murder in that community. A policeman who requested anonymity said, The entire warfare is connected to the lottery scamming, and most of these men caught up in the altercation are well-known scammers. But the police will now be clamping down on these men. So, Fast forward now, less than a year after, can I remember you know, that Bando, Bando, which is their brother, Bando was killed you know, in, um, in 2021. Yes, remember you know, he was killed on March 6, 2021. So fast forward now, so a year and yeah, a year and six months and two days later now, on Tuesday, September 8, 2022, at about 10 30 pm, a man was shot and killed, and a 38 year old woman. Dressmaker was injured by a gunman at a bar at a guest house in Negril, Westmoreland, on Tuesday night. The deceased has been identified as 29 year old Edward Mosley, otherwise called Heddy of Red Ground in Negril, Westmoreland. The Negril police reported that at about 10 30 pm, Mosley and the woman were among other patrons at a party at the Appy. Quarters guest house along Norman Manley Boulevard in Negril. Minutes later, a man dressed in dark clothing walked up to the bar while posing as a customer and order a drink. He left the bar and quickly returned and brandished a handgun and opened fire eating Mosley and the woman. The gunman ran from the venue and the police were summoned. Upon the arrival, Mosley 
was discovered suffering from gunshot wounds to his head and a female shot in the foot. So they were taken to hospital where Mosley was pronounced dead and the woman admitted. So you know, say the woman, uh, more or less, you know, so she now gave a statement and say who shoot her because she gets shot and she alive. She does, you know, to she. She and her family are telling us about them that she alive, so, you know, Eddie dead, so I just saw it gone. Yeah, you know, so that's how it is when you live a life of crime and in the company of criminals, anything can happen. You understand? So, you know, so we fast forward um, to last week when the police them kill Sheen, Sheen Grandison and Tupac. So you're going to hear now from residents in, in and around um, Red Gun. So, the, you know, them decide to stage a demonstration at the police station denouncing the police and their actions for killing both men, she and them said, why, well, yeah, them say, um, Shane was a good youth uh, driving a car with a Dan, a gangster, but ended up losing his life in a hail of bullets. And he's in the departure long. And the people have said that, why well, the police didn't have to kill Shane. As if the police would not know that Shane in the car. If Shane is riding with men who have illegal guns and shooting at the police, what Shane expect? You understand? So you have to choose your company wisely. So, you know, we we'll continue the journey. So we want you to, you watch, you listen, and you decide what these people are saying about Shane Mosley. They're not saying anything, they're not saying anything good about him. They're not saying anything about Shane, but you know who they're talking, um, they're talking about the Grand Disney youth, because Shane, everybody knows that Shane a gangster. So, you know, they were, you know, I, I just, um, she and, you know, was a good youth and Tupac, you know, Mosley, uh, you know, she and Grandison was a good youth and, you know, Mosley was a criminal or a terrorist, you know. So, we wanted to listen to these people who are demonstrating the death. Not of both men, but of one man. And I don't know how they're going to work out that because that can't work, you know, because finding the company of people who are shoot off by police, you become even. It's just even, Stephen. The police can't have to do, use the necessary to protect them life. So you watch, you listen, you decide. This guy wants me to stand up and look for a woman. This guy wants me to stand up and look for a woman. Problem, 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 problem. And I didn't come there, so problem wrong is that here. up to the church I realized that a, a, a dark no, I don't know if it's a no or a box, but a bus was blocking them in. Meanwhile the police people were blocking them in from the other side. So they were they were like a, a sandwich. When they blocked them in, a white car came the police in um, not in uniform, I think they were in the uniform. My son murdered my son and his friend that was in the car. No, I am hearing that they are saying it's a shooting. Can a, can a person who has so much, he's a UK student. My husband died in 2020. My father also died at that time. He came home to help me in my family business. What would a person like that who just up, get approved for a gun? I see. He went and bought the gun and everything. So the sweeping on his ID, which is going to take like two weeks. Go back for the gun. A person like that who has everything going for it.
him. And he's not a madman. Why would he shoot at the police or sit around and watch somebody else shoot at the police? That makes no sense to me. What was he studying at UTEC? Business. Listen to, you know, the words coming from the mouth of, you know, Mrs. Grandison, the mother of Shane Grandison who was killed in the shootout with the police. Yes, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, you know, based on what you have said, this young man, you know, was on the right path, doing all the right things, but end up with the wrong people in the wrong um, vehicle at the wrong time. So we at the Jamaica Young Police Tunnel, you know, want to, you know, our deepest condolences to the family, friends and employees of Mr. Shane Grandison. Has lost his life because he had made wrong choices of driving with a man who is a known gunman and one who shoots at the police. And the end result is that Shane is dead, along with one of the gunmen. May Shane's soul rest in peace and I hope that the others will learn from this incident by choosing the right company our friends to drive in a motor car with especially if the person is unknown Dan gangster a violence producer in Jamaica so you know we are sorry you know to hear about the loss of your loved one you know our thoughts and prayers are with you during a difficult time Miss Grandison yes you know we know that you will never forget your son Shane and the fond memories of your son who was everything to you as a special person and we know that you will miss him dearly as parents we must be mindful honest truthful by telling our children the company our friends to keep they keep and choosing the right friends can determine life and death yes especially in this situation if Tupac was a different person she would be alive because Tupac wouldn't have any gun and shooting at the police. So not every friend is a good friend. Some friends are best to love from a distance and not in your intimate space. So you love them from afar. So a wise man knows the danger and the fool see it and run towards it. But if you don't warn the fool, the blood of the fool is on the shoulder of the watchman. So that's why we want people. If you know somebody indulging in criminality, you stay far from them. You don't want to be in a them company. You know why? Why are people think you're cool? His mother said that he had applied for a license of firearm, got it, and supposed to pick it up in a two weeks. Imagine if it was two weeks after and he had his license of firearm. And maybe it would be even all worse. So you understand? So you have to choose your friends that you keep. You can't just that because you know somebody or you grow with them and you know them and this man older than Shane. There was no reason for Shane to ride with him. You understand? So you know, so we are going right back to this uh, a wise a wise man is saying, when I was growing up in Jamaica and it is still relevant to this day, show me your company and it will tell others who you are. The company you keep can indeed say a lot about you. The people you surround yourself with can influence your thoughts, values and behavior. So if you are looking for a good company, there are a few things you should look for. Most importantly, just if somebody is not a liar, hard to find them in a Jamaica, you know, but you have good people in Jamaica who just tell you the truth. Because the truth has something that hurt, you know, and burn people, people don't like hear the truth. Jamaican people in the world, boy, them love when people lie to them. You understand? And if Shane, I just know, you know, to do the right thing, she would not be alive today. He would not be at the departure long. Yes, and it is sad, but that's how life is. You choose the wrong company, end up wrong place, wrong time with the wrong people, and I say you lose your life. We have seen that happen on several occasions. Hope others within the community and in around and any, anywhere that you're listening to, listening to us at this time. You know that you choose your company wisely. Have yourself a beautiful day. And before we go, if you have reached this far, please like the video. Yes, like the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your loved ones. And most importantly, remember to make a comment below. And for those who would certain want certain privilege that in um, certain videos 
that won't be on YouTube. Just join Patreon. Patreon is a community work for all of us where we will meet you know regularly and discuss and you as the viewers and subscribers and members of the patreon community will be able to contribute to topics and that you'd want us to address as we move forward but as we're moving forward we'll be expanding when we say expanding yeah you know uh, where you can you can get to although you're able to communicate with us but we make it live on one and two look at things have yourself a beautiful day jamaica young police channel out